Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principle. I'm your host Shaheen. In today's video we are going to look through uh, our analysis of gold and silver and we'll see where the prices are heading and uh, which way the main trend is. So as far as the larger trend is concerned or the monthly time frame uh, trend is concerned, I'm still looking at the price action to be bearish. I'm bearish in gold and I'm bearish in silver. And in gold I can see that uh, if you can see, let me have a look. You can, uh, delete couple of these lines to make it a little cleaner so I have been uh, indicating that the downward price movement has is being captured by the support line and I believe that this support line will actually define the whole trend downward how further down the trend will go we will find pretty soon I'm pretty sure but right now we are just focusing on a daily time frame and we are taking it as a daily wave goes in so right now on a daily time frame here we can see that uh, it looks like that we have already completed some sort of correction right over here ABC a flat correction right over here don't worry about the labeling right now I'm just simply considering it as A B and C and I'm considering this as an impulse wave starting from this uh, this top right over here we can clearly see a five wave structure and we can also see the correction that's being built right over here I believe the part of the correction is right now complete and as soon as this leg of the correction is complete we are going to resume another leg of the correction so on hourly time frame we can clearly see that there's a lot of uh, support horizontal support that exists in this area and there's also some uh, diagonal support coming in line too so it looks like um, for now I'm considering this whole price movement as wave A this whole price movement as wave B and this whole price movement as wave C so if you want you can consider it as wave A wave B and wave C or you can simply consider it as W X Y X and Z that is triple uh, zigzag pattern so whatever suits you it looks like that support is coming in mind and uh, we can tell from the support line uh, if you want a confirmation on the support line we can uh, uh, draw this trend line uh, starting from this top combining these tops to, and that's given an indication that as soon as prices cross beyond that that will be indication that the correction that's actually started right from over here is complete as far as the upward targets are concerned on our hourly time frame, we are expecting another 535 five structure just like this as well. 535. Five. This structure, although it looks like might take less time the return because we have done some accumulation in this area. So it looks like there is a possibility that this uh, correction could be sharp. So keep that in mind. And uh, the target zones for, for that for finding the target zone, we can look on our left and then we can see that uh, the two important target zones where the selling came in first of all the selling came in right in this area if you look at this pay attention so and the second selling right now we are finding the support on top of right exactly so we are already finding support on right over here so this this is another point why this uh, support area becomes very important another target would be this one so for the upward price movement there are two targets 1855 1875 in between there that's our target area for the ABC correction upwards and let's have a look at a 15 minute chart and see what happens if uh, just in case if you are wrong in our analysis and how it found that a clear break of this support line the support structure a clear break of this structure and then retest of this structure would in indicate that uh, the correction is complete for example this one right over here so if prices fall below right over here and retest that area that will be an indication that the correction was complete uh, it looks more likely that the correction uh, the is going the support area of the horizontal support is uh, at least the horizontal support is going to hold if the diagonal support does not hold it looks more likely that the horizontal support will hold let's have a look at silver silver is also giving us a very nice idea of how the prices are moving in the uh, last uh, couple of days ago, I think I was able to forecast that we are expecting prices come down, go up and come down. And that's exactly what we have seen. I was also expecting the prices uh, in, in gold to come all the way down, retest the area. But it looks like there is already finding more resistance. This uh, trend started from top is finding more resistance. Uh, reason and the like, reason is because it seems that silver has already found its uh, support area in this region. We are very very close to the support strong support area first of all there is one right over here and there is another support right over here so these both areas are very very important and uh, you'll find out what's happening after that 
right now as you can see we have a flat correction wave A, wave B and wave C so this is a flat correction and you can consider it another zigzag zigzag correction right wave A, wave B or wave C or you can consider it as another expanded flat correction uh, a flat correction where this price movement didn't go all the way along so I'm expecting that uh, as soon as the reversal occurs this reversal occur is going to take us deep inside uh, somewhere in this region let's have a look, look on a four hourly chart and we can see from our uh, previous uh, analysis that this trend line is very important the trend line from the top is very important we already have a one one two almost the third one and looks like we are going to when prices go up this is going to be our target range for silver and of course as soon as that is complete we'll expect prices to fall below but this is uh, giving us a very important uh, trading setup for silver. Uh, I'm going to be bullish in silver for next, I would say, next week. And if the target hits before the end of the next week, then of course we'll turn bearish after that. Wish you good luck with your trading with the gold and silver. Uh, have a good one and bye-bye.